142, Ali. Ali gets the first vote. Good. Lou Tabbitt scores. 145, 140, Big. Big margin, 130, 135. Fox scores. 144, 141, the new. Yesterday at the dinner, they showed your dad the victory against Muhammad Ali, and I noticed you were clapping. And how many times did you see that fight? Oh, I, I, I seen it over a million times because I was born five days after um, he beat Muhammad Ali. So, you know, it's the 30th, 30th year anniversary, and I'm 30. So, uh, you know, it's always proud to see that, you know, because I can really say I was born to be a champion. You beat Ali when you had like so few pro fights. How, how does it? How did it happen? How, you know? Ali growing. I watched Ali growing up, so I knew what I knew it didn't take to beat him. Uh, I just did my best. I'm doing great, man. You know, um, just um, was up here this weekend enjoying the festivities. Uh, you just lost your title. What's next for you? Are you going to try to get a rematch with Phillips? Is that what's... Um, either get a rematch or um, get another title. You know, um, I heard that um, Sergio Moore will beat um, Vernon Forrest yesterday. I would love to um, go after that title if he's willing to fight me. I'm definitely proud of him. What does the future hold for him? What do you think? He just lost the title. Do you think he'll get it back? I think I'm gonna get one title back. I think I'm gonna go for a middleweight title. So we'll see what happens after that. I'm always proud um, when my um, dad get acknowledged. You know, um, they just let me know what he and my uncle has accomplished. But um, I know he's also proud of me because I was I'm up here. So you know, his son is doing something in boxing. What are you up to now? Well, I'm taking it easy, I'm working with kids in boxing. Turn, turn them kids myself. Mm -hmm. Who are some of the favorite guys that you saw here this weekend? All of them. It's always a pleasure to meet the um, guys that made the way for us, you know. And um, okay. it's just, it's just an honor to meet those guys. Okay. Oh, I'm talking about everybody, you know. I can't just pick on one, two. I'm, I, I'm running to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I meet some guys. Down. Do you still follow the sport? Yeah, I do. Look at boxing or not. And my son boxing now, so I watch out to him, too. Uh, do you, I mean, do you have any favorite fighters now? Anybody else? I'm pretty much doing their own thing. So I just watch it. Well, um, I like to fi um, watch um, Mayweather fight. Uh, I like to fight. I like to see all the good guys. I like to, um, Winky Wright, uh, Bernard. Um, even Oscar, Shane, you know, um, Michelle Cotto, um, and the guys that was here, you know, like Polly Malinaji, um, Steve Cuttingham. I like to see all them guys, um, fight, you know, um, I just love to, um, support a boxer. And I like to see myself. <laughs> Neon Leon. How'd you get the nickname Le Neon? Uh, my mom gave me Leon. Huh. When? How? What happened? When I was a kid, you know, when I was growing up. She gave me Leon, Leon. Yeah. Now, I know you're known for your famous dance, the walkout arena. Any, any changes to that? Any plans for the future? Oh, no, I'm going uh, to keep doing what I do. You know, um, it's, it's, a, it's a show, and that's what you're supposed to put on. So that's, that's part of my show. No. Your brother, Michael? Yeah, what about him? What's he doing? Taking it easy. Yeah. Taking it easy. Yeah. yeah, he's just chilling, you know. Um, I talk to him like um every other day. So um he was um he so he was gonna come up here but he's getting some work on his house, so you know, um maybe next time. Chapel man, I ain't going nowhere. And why don't you tell all these nice folks why you've been ducking me? Politics, man. This country wants to keep me down. Keep everybody weak. I don't want a man like me to have the title because I'm not a puppet like that fool up there. You know, you got a big mouth, you know? Why don't you come out and close it, Balboa? Come on!
one episode that I remember in particular was before the Mallorca fight and Ricardo was talking trash, you know. Um, do you do you always feel that it's like just for the show or that? Because I don't know if it's like personal between guys, you know. That he always says something like that just to you know, stir up interest. Well, sometimes it'd be personal and sometimes it'd be for show. But um, people can't really really tell because you know we're so serious about our business like it's 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 for some for show sure, but you you have to do that because you about to go up against this this man and this man is going to be trying to hurt you so it can be personal too times did you have mr t as your uh, bodyguard yeah, he was my bodyguard one time and uh, then he went on become an actor mm-hmm. Do you still talk to each other? Yeah, we did talk, I did talk to him when I run into him, yeah. You're the next generation, but what about the next generation? Any kids, any plans? Yeah, um, as you asked me that, my, um, my wife is um, pregnant right now. We don't, we don't know if it's a, a boy or a girl, but we, we're hoping it's a boy, so pray for me. So Leon could be a grandpa, huh? Any any ideas for a name yet? No? You want to give us a scoop? If it's a, if it's a boy, you know, it's going to be a Corey Jr. You know, if it's a girl, we're going to call her Chloe. You know, so we, we, we didn't thought about it already. Thanks a lot for your time, Neil. No problem. Thanks for your time, Corey. You're the man. Thank you.